Hello there everybody, this is Grant, also known as the Collector75. Welcome to another Transformers Redux review. This time I thought I'd do the Transformers Generation 2 Rotor Force. Both the Autobots and the Decepticons, obviously there's only two each. Um, I think these would have been probably at the time basic size toys, though these days they could be probably Voyager size toys by the time I upload this, who knows. Um, yeah, um, so yes, yeah, so they would have been sort of basic size toys, really. Um, they did get a release in Europe as well. Uh, these are probably the European ones, actually, if I'm honest with you. Because um, obviously I bought these at the time. Uh, yeah, so in, in America they were called Rotor Force and had some different names. And in, in the UK and Europe, this is when Europe really started to get on my fucking nerves, to be honest with you. Um, for no, no longer could we have just the boxes with just the English on it. No, we had to have about 53,000 different fucking languages. And it fucking pissed me off. And I know I try not to swear, but it, that really... You get me on a subject like that, and it winds me up. Something chronic. Um, anyway, so yeah, so they had different names. God knows why, though. Um, so this guy uh, is called Manta Ray. But in, in over here, he was called Piranha first sort of manta ray this guy was called leadfoot in america over here he was called hotfoot i think <laughs> yeah what a crazy fucking name that was um anyway this guy um in america was called ransack over here he was called blitz uh this guy was called power dive or power drive i can't remember it always escapes me because Someone told me a name once and now I always get confused, but I think it's Power Dive. Over here, he was called uh, Blade. You can sort of understand it. It's not a bad name, really. Them two, these two are just atrocious. Anyway, we're going to start with the Autobots one. We're going to start here with Manta Ray. Uh, he's obviously just some sort of little speedboat. It's quite a cool little speedboat, if you ask me. Hardly, there isn't very many boat transformers. There's a few, but not that many. Um, you can always tell why, because obviously limited play value and everything. I think if you put this guy in water, he wouldn't float. We well, might, because he's plastic, but not to how he's supposed to be, if you know what I mean. Uh, there isn't much more to say about this guy in this mode. He does have the sort of like movable engine at the back there. I'm going to disconnect the engine tray and show you the gimmick that these all come with. Um, these have wind up uh, little motors, so. If I do it the right way, like this, you can hear it sort of winding up. I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I haven't done this for a while. There we go, right, it's sort of like you can hear that getting. Then what you've got, you've got a little button here. You're going to push that and this should sort of fly off. Whoa, fuck now. Whoa. Right, that's gone under the hoover. But you get the idea, and it was really good, and I, and I loved it in the Generation 2 comics when these guys uh, appeared. It was actually pretty good. Um, but that is a cool little mode. I, I love that gimmick. That was a gimmick that actually sort of works, really, sort of. Um, anyway, let's get on to this guy. This is obviously Manta Ray. Now, to transform him, we're going to just uh, start moving bits out. I can't exactly remember how to transform him properly. That, that rotates his head up. Uh, I'm sure I have to disconnect. There we go. Pull sort of like legs out. They're a bit tight in there. Fold his little feet round. There we go. Uh, pull his little arms out. Oh, fucking bastard. There we go. And then he's just going to bend just out the tiny little elbows there. And then we have uh, Manta Ray. Now he can hold this weapon in his little hand. There he is. And to be honest, he's not a bad little robot, if I'm honest. Um, he's got quite a cool little head sculpt. This is when they started first, well, their first sort of use of uh, light piping. I think he looks really good. I'm going to come next here to uh, Leadfoot. Um, I don't know why a Formula One car would have a giant rotor in the centre of its car there. I haven't got a clue, but it rolls extremely well. You can see he's got rotor motor 93. 93 could have been the year he came out. They do have, instead of uh, like the black squares, what Generation 2 tried to do, they had Autobot and Decepticon printed on them somewhere, harking back to that, which is okay. It actually rolled really well, if I'm honest with you. Uh, it does some chrome paint and everything. 
He does have the same gimmick. Uh, we're going to transform this guy. I've got to try and remember how to transform it. That comes off. Uh, it does get a little, not really confusing, but if you can't remember, it can be a little uh, not forgetful, but in those sort of long those lines, uh, that goes up to there. That sort of hangs around the back. These arms, ah, uh, you've got to pull that out first. Then you rotate the arms up. That locks into position. There's a little tab just behind there. There we go. That clicks in. Uh, and we rotate the arms out. Sort of. Yeah, there we go. See, so, yeah, it's on a double sort of like little hinge. So you bring it round, open it out, bring it down. And again, he can hold this e e even if it is a really giant sort of weapon. Like that. It does look a little ridiculous with the weapon. But it's still a cool little robot. He's not got much articulation. Um, but it does have a little cool head sculpt. Not too bad. Uh, so we're going to put him over there. What's a shame with these guys, because obviously the, their, their sort of counterparts next size up was the uh, laser rods. And they had all ball jointed things and going for them and lots of posability. These guys were, they stuck with more traditional toy methods with these guys. And it does show, they've got good articulation for what they are, but they are a bit limited. Anyway, uh, we're going to go for next thought. This is a Ransack. He's obviously some sort of World War II plane. I'm not quite sure if he's an F-14 or F-16 Tomcat. I'm not sure. But as it goes, I like it. Now, he did get a homage uh, in, ge in the Generations line, um, even though he's called Power Dive, which is a bit strange. But you can see where they were going. And I think it's a great little mode. Um, little fighter plane. Fantastic. I love the little thing on the front here. You can wind it up. Let me just show you. This guy should work. Out like that. I don't want to lose this one. Got to remember, the other one's gone behind you over. So you right, roll it up, and then you can do that. And you can aim it at these guys. I like this. It's probably going to ping off everywhere. Hold on. Come here. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, there we go. That's all right. <laughs> See what I mean? It's quite good. I like, I like that. Little things like that. Uh, right, we're going to transform this guy now. I love the uh, detailing there. You can see the proper little engine. That's pretty damn cool. Going to take the engine off. Put that to the side. Oh, yeah, that's... One of theirs. Uh, I'm going to take the engine off. Open this out now. Uh, we've got to disconnect the arms from there. Put that down. Just got to basically start, start taking them apart, really. Uh, once you can remember how it goes, that comes around there. That comes out. Oh, yeah, these are going to be the legs. That goes there. He's got his ever so little tiny little feet. Just tucked away in it. Just click them in place. Right, that goes there. Going to rotate this 180, uh, move that out and around. That comes down. Then he's got two little tabs. They're just going to go into there. You push them in and then push this up against his back. That folds away nicely. Then with these wings, you're supposed to do that, but I think that looks crap. So I just sort of keep them there. Uh, there's his shoulder. Oh, don't want to move. There we go. And there's his hands. And then you can put this little gun. Just in his hand, like that. And he ain't too bad. I mean, if you look at the head scope, if it's going to zoom in on it. It's not too bad at all, actually. I like it. I like Generation 2. Um, some of the toys were a bit dodgy. Like, this one is a little dodgy, but I like right. it. So we're going to carry on here with Power Dive. This is probably my favourite. He's like an Apache helicopter. It's great. The uh, rotors do spin, but that's, that's you know, you, obviously you've got to push them around yourself. Um, he doesn't have a back rotor or nothing. He does have a, a wide range of gun. Oh, bloody hell. He does have a wide range of guns on him. Though these ones... Oh, bloody hell, I'll keep dropping him. Uh, these ones, uh, as you can see, they're going to get in the way of these ones. So they're going to shoot off the front weapons. Um, so when I sort of like was going to do that, I'd have to do that. So it sort of don't they don't get in the way of each other. Because you can move these ones, but then that just looks stupid if you start putting them up like that. But saying that, apart from that one little defect, which um, the toy makers obviously didn't care about, um, it's actually a damn good helicopter. You can imagine this going swooping in, taking out some water bots, and then pissing off. Absolutely brilliant. I loved it when I was, how old was I when I bought this? About 93. I was 18 years old, give or take. 
Um, yes, and I'm still still buying Transformers. Um, I thought what I would do with G2. I was on a dole at one point, um, but then obviously I got a job with a lot of disposable income. I started buying them. I tried to get every Transformer, so I tried to get most of G2. I didn't get them all. I only got some of them. But after once uh, they once G2 finished, then I tried to get them all, which was a bit silly, really. Um, but like I said, I was lucky I found a shop and everything, and I picked loads up cheap. Dirt, bloody cheap, considering. Uh, right, let's transform this guy. We're going to take the engine out the middle. I'm sure that's what I have to do first. You can start moving stuff. I'm sure that comes out. Anyway, you do that. Well, no, I see you've got to move it backwards first. That's it. And then you can take it out. There we go. It's coming. There we go. Take the engine out. I'm almost there now. Uh, get the little cockpit. That just accordions up. Uh, and we're almost there. <laughs> Once you've done that, go down to the back here. These close up behind there. These little front little guns. Just move in. Pull the little feet down. Uh, and then move these arms out. Now, it's a shame with these arms um, because they bend that way. It, you know, you're breaking his elbows, you can't have him. It's a shame if they were just round the other way, it would have been better. But obviously, for the plane mode, you needed them round that way. But, you know, once you fold out the hands, that is him in his little robot mode. And it's all right, it's not a bad little robot mode, it is very short. But again, this was a basic sized figure. Can hold the little engine in his hand. And again, he would fire the little rotor blade out. You can sort of have that on there as well, holding it, but that not that look too bad. It's a little oversized. Uh, but that is the Generation 2 Rotor Force. Uh, for a little size comparison, I do have Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. As you can see, he's a deluxe size, so they would have been basic. Uh, normal deluxe size is a bit should have been a bit bigger in this at the time, but you know, it's not bad. Put him back up there. Oh, pardon me. Anyway, these are some great little figures. You can usually pick these up quite cheap, really, unless you're trying to go for them in the box, in, that, in which case they're a little more expensive to come by. But still, four little great figures with a great gimmick, if you want my opinion. I think it works really well. Um, anyway, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Oh,